Yo, what's going on everyone? It's your boy D-Lord and welcome back to another episode of our Pittsburgh Steelers Madden 22 Connector Franchise Series. Now a big, big week 17, only two games left and we probably need to win both at the very minimum one, man. But we have a rematch against the Cleveland Browns. They are 10-5, we are 8-7. We did win the first game, but you see that overall and you see that offensive rating, a 91 rated offense this is definitely going to be a very tough matchup so you do currently see right now the playoff bracket and how things are shaking up so currently we do hold the seventh and the final seed hopefully we can keep that we have our games against the browns and the ravens two other playoff teams currently to round out the rest of our season so we need to make sure you know we come out on top somehow so we're going to go ahead we're going to take a look at the weekly strategy because you know they're going to run the ball with Chubb. I don't care what they say, man. Run to the out. Bro, we're defending the inside run. That's what's going to happen for sure. Um, and then, I don't know how I feel about this one. I mean, I think we'll just do the same thing we did last week just to make sure everybody is rested. And we'll kind of go from there. On the offensive side of things, they zone blitz 31% of the time. Zone blitz 45% of the time on first down. So, I mean, it looks like they're definitely going to be coming. We will, though, we will go back to our, our tried and true throw medium. But if they start blitzing a lot, we can't handle it. We'll definitely change it at halftime, man. So, we're going to half pass this one as well. And as for the weekly game plan, get five sacks. That's probably not going to happen. We could probably, once again, get the throw two plus touchdowns. Start the training. Hopefully, nobody gets hurt. We're fine, we're nice, we're healthy, and we go into this game, you know, the best we can. So, fatigue minus five for Najee Harris. That is great, man. So, he's slowly getting back into shape after, you know, getting some rest. So, that definitely helps. Uh, let's see, no other injuries, it looks like, on the offensive end. So, we're healthy 100% on the offensive side. Defensive side, we are healthy again. So, there we go. We come through two weeks in a row. No injuries, I believe. So we should be set, man. So nothing else to do. Nothing to upgrade. We're going to jump straight into this one. All right, here we go, guys. First play of the game. We're going to run the ball. Nice little counter. And we'll get whatever we can get. That ends up being four. Here we go. Second down, man. They may blitz here. Got to get rid of this thing. Let's go. Finding James Washington. Moving down across midfield. Go, Cordell Patterson. Man, he fumbles. Ooh, we got lucky. All right, second and one, man. Hand the football off. Let's go, Najee. There we go, baby. Down to the 33. Right, we better hand the ball off to Benny. There we go. We have some blocks. Let's go, Benny. There we go, man. Down to the 15-yard line. And Miles Garrett is hurt. Let's go. All right, second and 10, man. Can't really find nobody. Ah, we took too long to even throw it away. Third and 14, man. Make the catch. We're short. Jadavion Clowney gets hurt. So if these guys start dropping, that should definitely help us. But unfortunately on this drive, it's not going to be a touchdown. But it should be three. It is. 3-0. All right, man. So we got to play defense. This potent offense, man. But you see Odell and Landry are already tired. So maybe fatigue is getting to them. And our boy in his first play back, Cam Hayward, man. He gets a tackle. Oh, no. They're handing it off. Let's go, Devin Bush. I thought it was going to be a harder hit stick than that, man. But we're good. Here we go. Third and seven. Just make sure they don't get the first down here. Let's go. We get the set. Cam Hayward, bro. First game back and making an impact. Here we go. Ebron got past his man. Turns it up. And Ebron's going to score. Ebron is going to score. One play touchdown on this drive. Man, we are, we are rolling right now. Let's go. We get there on third down. Another... Three and out. Let's go, defense. All right, man. First and ten. 
Here we go. Ebron again turns up. Let's get out of bounds right there, man. Down to the 47. Ebron again, bro. Y'all gonna guard him? They're just leaving him right now. Here we go third and eight. He missed him, bro. He missed him. He was there. He missed him. I don't know if he would have got headed enough for a first down. He would have had to turn it up. But he misses him. Let's kick this field goal. 50 yarder, bro. All right, it's going to be good. So 13 to nothing. Twice we get down there, couldn't score, but at least we get points, right? There we go. Second down, first play in this quarter. Let's go. Another sack. This time, DB Devin Bush. Third and 19. One on one, he overthrew Odell, man, and another three and help for Cleveland. Here we go, Cordero Patterson. Is he gonna get the first? No, nope. he's a little short. No, he got it. Wow. Do I? I don't have nothing but a read option. All right, we'll keep the play call. Ah, bad read, but it did not matter because Eric Ebron again makes another catch. All right, first down, first and ten. He's going to be there. I think he's going to be there. He is. Touchdown, Juju. Let's go, man. Big Ben put it right where it needed to be. Juju ran underneath it. Oh, what a cut back there. What a truck, bro. Wow. Ah, uh, great patience. Great patience. Pick that off. Let's go, Richard Sherman, baby. Old oh, man, Richard Sherman, bro. He jumped that to the crib. Touchdown, man. I almost got caught for a second, bro. I ain't even going to hold y'all, man. But everything's going our way again. All right, third and seven. Let's go. Pressure gets to him, man. A sack and two minute warning. We'll get the ball back. That's right, so a second and ten, man. Can we pick something up here. Uh, I don't like nothing. We fumbled the ball. Pick it up. We don't. I should have threw it away. I tried to scramble at the last second, man. And we just put them in great position. All right, man. They're at the 15-yard line. Let's go. Can we get there? Let's go. Cover sack. We get that sack, man. So now we got under a minute left. All right, second 19, man. Let's go. Let's go. Cover second. He fumbles it. TJ Watt picks it up. You're not gonna you're not gonna catch him, man. You're not gonna catch him. So we fumble. They fumble right back. Touchdown, bro. Oh, Spillane again, bro. Robert Spillane, bro. Robert Spillane. Bro, he's a goat, man. Look at that hit, bro. He's a goat. He's there. Let's go. Touchdown, Eric Ebron, man. This is getting this is getting ugly. So it's first and ten, man. First play here in the third quarter. I mean, they got to put up 41 points. So at this point, bro, we're just we're just trying to make sure they don't score too quickly, bro. I think that's the only way we could give up this lead, right? There we go. Third and three, man. Third and three. Knock it down. Let's go, baby. We knock it down and they're punting it. That's the blitz and everybody here. Can we get somebody? Can we get Claypool? We do. Let's go. There we go, Najee. There we go, Najee. Use that speed and he got caught. Dang it. All right, man. So third and goal. Could we get in there? And nope. Clowny, bro, makes a great play. They want us to go for it, man. Bro, we're up 41 to nothing. We're just gonna, just gonna kick the field goal. I mean, we're not pressed to get a lot of points at this point in the game, man. There you go. Oh, let's they block it. They don't. <laughs> 44 to nothing. There you go. They're throwing the ball. Let's go. We took everything away. Bro. 
I'm gonna just start letting the computer do that, bro. Because every time I click on on the jump ball, it just never pans out for me. Yeah, second and six. Come on, come across the field. Let's go. He's there. Juju all by himself. <laughs> I thought that spin was gonna work. Right, so third and two. Let's just pick up the first down and keep the clock going. There it is. First down. Let's go. All right, third and two, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get in there. <laughs> He's not going to get in there, bro. I thought that momentum was going to carry him forward. He's in there. Kadero Patterson. Touchdown, bro. <laughs> We're over 50 points. Who would have thought that? Here we go. Third and 10. Njoku is the primary receiver. So we know it. We see it. They have to check it down. Bro, we missed. Okay. All right, so first and 10, slip screen. Spillane got called up. Oh, Spillane couldn't make the tackle. Kareem Hunt, man, down to the 18. Fourth and two. Let's go. We took everything away. Let's go. Melvin Ingram with the interception. I should probably have pitched that back, but he might have the speed. Melvin Ingram's going to have the speed. Maybe not. Let's people get chase him. Let's go. <laughs> Melvin Ingram had the speed. This is ridiculous, man. All right, guys. In an absolute blowout, 58-7. to It wasn't a lot of action, man. We got the win. 368 yards of offense. They had 210. Only 38 rushing yards, and that's their bread and butter. We had 237 yards through the air. Uh, we won the turnover battle by plus three. We did have one. They had four. Um, really, man, it was just a flawless, flawless game. I mean, I can't complain. Big Ben, 152.6 quarterback rating, 12 of 17, 245 yards passing, three TDs, zero interceptions. Baker Mayfield, on the other hand, 13 for 21, 238, one touchdown, two interceptions. Looking at the ground game, man, Nick Chubb, 12 carries, 29 yards. We did a great job of keeping him in check. Najee Harris, 16 for 98, no touchdowns there, but we didn't need it because look at this, man. Eric Ebron. Five catches, 121 yards, two touchdowns. Juju, three for 53, one touchdown. Chase Claypool only had one catch, but it did go for 44 yards. On the defensive side of the ball, Devin Bush led us in solo tackles with four. Total tackles goes to Robert Spillane coming through with seven of them. TFLs, quite a lot of TFLs. Ingram with two, Edmonds with two, Spillane with two, DB with two. Sex, bro. Look at the sex. They were crazy. Ingram with two. Sutton got one. Edmonds got one. Hayward got one. Devin Bush got one. Stephon Tewitt all got one. The interceptions came from Melvin Ingram and Richard Sherman. All right, guys. So after the game, we did get an upgrade from TJ Watt as well as Chris Boswell. But with TJ Watt, man, he already has speed rusher up to a 95. We'll go ahead and go power rusher here. Maybe we should have went pass coverage. Maybe we'll do that next time, man. His rushing game is definitely on point. He gets plus one to his acceleration, awareness, power moves, and his tackling. Um, Chris Boswell, he gets an upgrade, kicking all those extra points. <laughs> Going to get those upgrades, man. We'll go accuracy because it's so hard to improve kick power. Hopefully, we get one. We don't. We get plus three to the awareness for Chris Boswell. Now, I'm going to propose this question because we have been playing on just default straight default um all madden this whole time uh where are the sliders at should we slide um bump them up and if we should bump, bump them up should we bump them up now or should we bump them up um as we get i don't know where i'm gonna find the sliders at bro should we bump them up as we get to the playoffs or as we get into the next season Max, i initially was going to bump them up try to find a slider set online and come back season two with it but for right now it looks like we may need to bump them up now. So maybe we drop everything to 45s and just roll with that, see how that plays out. You guys let me know if we should do that or if we should keep everything at 50. Um, let me know, man, because these games are definitely getting a little out of hand. But let's move everything to 50 for us right now. I'm a 45 for us right now as we make that decision. We'll also go ahead and simulate this week. We'll see what happens. We'll see who loses, who wins, if we move up any in the playoff standings because that's huge for us as we go into the final week against the baltimore ravens so we have another breakout player opportunity that's that's going to be nice anyways let's go ahead and take a look and we're still seven we're still seven 
Um, let's see if we're locked in to seven or if we still need to be we still need to be worried. Okay, that's very well a possibility. Yeah, we need to be worried still. So in the game that if we win, we are in. If we lose, I mean I guess the Broncos could pass us. I'm not sure how they will pass it, but maybe that's a possibility. We have not clinched. So we definitely need to do our part and make sure we win the game. If not, we're probably going to need some help, man. But that's going to be it for this episode. As usual, I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please do me a favor. Go ahead and leave this video a like. It helps me out a lot. And subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy, D. Lloyd. I'm going to see you next time. Peace.